Hi, this is Nafal from Node Solution. We're going to be talking about price elasticity of supply and more specifically the factors that affect the price elasticity of supply. And so the question says, which of the following leads to a good having a high elasticity of supply? So we want something, we want the choices to, to relate to more responsive supply or a supply that um, changes by a lot because of changes in price. And so let's just take the choices one by one so that we know exactly that we're choosing the correct ones. So the first one says unique resources. So if, if something is made using unique resources, that would mean that it's A, very hard to replicate, and B, there are not many other things like that in the market. And so that would mean that the supply for it is basically inelastic or um, it's not really subject to changes in price just because of the uniqueness of the resources. So they're not, they're not common, they're not used anywhere else and so this could be an example of this could be a rare painting by um, your, by let's say Monet or Picasso and no matter what you increase the price to be the quantity supplied will be just one because there's only one Mona Lisa or there's only one um, great work by Picasso and so um, in that particular category and so when something is made with unique resources the supply tends to be very inelastic so we'll put this down, we'll put this in brackets and so we'll say inelastic so this would be no so as opposed to this, or at the contrary, this one says common resources. So now if something is made using common resources or resources that are easily available for other productions, um, then that would basically mean that it can be replicated or if the price changes, we can use those resources to make more and more or less and less of that particular good. And hence that would mean that the supply would be elastic for this particular example. So, elastic. So this would be a yes because we're actually looking for goods that, lead, that factors that lead to high elasticity of supply. The next one says inputs without substitutes. So in that particular case, if the inputs that you're using in the production of a particular good have no substitutes at all that, that would basically go back to the part of uniqueness or something on the lines of uh, saying that since there are, no, um, there are no particular substitutes for these inputs then they're rare or they're used in the quantities that are used by the person who's supplying them and that would mean that the supply is more inelastic or less elastic when, when uh, to, cha to changes in price. So this would again be inelastic. So you can put that down over there. So this would once again not be an answer because we're looking for factors that relate to more elastic goods. So the next one says wealthy individuals. Now, this has actually nothing to do with the elasticity of supply at all because this is talking about demand. This is one of the factors that affect the price elasticity of demand. So if you have, if you're serving to more, if you're serving to wealthy individuals, then um, you would be producing. Your production decision basically does not depend on the wealth of the individuals, since you're not. That's not what you're taking into account when you're producing something, rather you're taking into account the price of the commodity that you're getting in the market. So this would automatically be across this because it does not relate to the elasticity of supply. Lastly, we're dealing with the long run. Now if something's in the long run, that means that producing, for example, if the price goes up because of a shift in demand, um, and if you were in the short run, then the producers really wouldn't have any time to, for example, produce more or it takes time to increase your stock, add more machines to your inventory and so um, in the short run you tend to be more inelastic but 
in this case, or in the long run, you have time to uh, set the right amount of resources for production or meet the demand. And so, in this case, your production tends to be elastic. And so, once again, we have a ticket from the bed. So, just recapping, the answer for this question, or the factors that make it good more elastic, would be, one, having common resources that create it or that produce it, and lastly, having the long-run production rather than the short-run production. And that's why 2 and 5 are going to be your answers.